I was really excited about this part of the trip because we're coming into Moab, Utah, where I was going to be seeing the first arches that I've ever seen in my life. These are those iconic formations that we see all over old westerns and in iconic imagery of the American West. And it was breathtaking to see it for the first time up close. The plan for the day was to head up towards Moab and go to Arches National Park and then Canyonlands, but we ended up taking a detour up this road that went along the Colorado River. And this was the upper part before it actually goes into the Grand Canyon. And I really wasn't expecting to see this beautiful red canyon walls with this bright green grass everywhere. The colors were just absolutely amazing. It's again indescribable the amount of colors you can see out here in the middle of nowhere. I feel like a broken record trying to describe all these amazing sights that I see place after place after place. And then suddenly we come to Arches National Park that everywhere you look, there's something fresh and new to look at. What was mind boggling was trying to imagine how each one of these formations was created over many thousands or even millions of years. You'd walk under these arches that were hundreds of feet tall, hundreds of feet wide, and standing all by themselves. It made you think exactly how something like this can actually exist in this world. Every once in a while when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you have this feeling or this experience where you feel so insignificant compared to all these things around you that have taken millions of years to be created. And then when you think you've seen it all, you turn a corner and you see two even bigger arches that dwarf anything that you've seen up to that point. Running short on time, we have to now fly over to Canyonlands National Park, another amazing place to visit. And unfortunately, we were only there maybe a couple hours, but what we saw was well worth it. Mesa Arch is the most photographed place in the entire park and we got there as the sun was going down at the end of the day. A sunset in the desert is different than anything you might have ever experienced before because you have all these colors that are up in the sky but at the same time the desert floor is full of all these complementary colors. It was pretty hard to drive away from that amazing sunset.